So what's up guys, J.R.K. Drip Mode. Let me up with another that round. I had a couple of phone pieces la uh, left. I didn't know what to do with them. And I got a new addition to my collection. Mr. Christopher Reed. So, I'm attempting to do the Fortress of Solitude. So this is what I got right now guys, so first thing first, one of the challenges is that I'm running out of space in where to put the uh, put all my figurines and I had him up on the shelf right over, right over there. I was able to successfully <clears throat> figure out how to turn it into a corner piece. So this is what I'm coming up with. This is gonna be cool. So that's what I'm working on right now. See, this is the platform for the Fortress of Solitude. I just finished carving out his little, uh, I don't know what to call it, what's the correct terminology, but it's like his little podium where he he inserts uh, a crystal to talk or to interact with the Fortress of Solitude. So when he was talking to his father, he inserted a crystal. Um, you know, to get any life lessons, he enters a crystal, and he, you know, in part two, he enters a crystal to become a, a human. But yeah, this is basically the command center for the Fortress of Solitude. So that's where I'm gonna. This is where I'm gonna put the tubes, and it's coming out pretty good. It's uh, you know, it's a little different than. Yeah, I had my own little touch to it, but it's coming out good so far. So the way I'm going about this is I'm trying to basically replicate even the style of the movie. So for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this whole thing white. And see and see after that if I need any if I need to really go in there and add any more additional details like maybe some baby blues to kind of give it the more of the ice look. Versus just a block of a block of snow type of thing.
pretty far ahead. Um, I came up with an alternative. Oop. Came up with an alternative. I put two coats of acrylic paint on some of these pieces and it gave it a strong enough coat where I could spray paint over it. And it came out great. It's very white and that's what I wanted. Now, I guess a lesson learned, you have to put enough coats to get the strong white. Now, over here, hopefully with my camera I could get it, but there, um, there was some areas where I didn't put enough coat. Um, when you when you spray paint foam, the spray paint starts eating up your foam. So there's some areas that uh, I'm a little annoyed by, but nothing big. Um, it gets it starts eating and it starts looking like it starts looking like concrete. So it may be great for certain textures, but that's not the look I'm looking for. So what I did is I put another coat, and I'm gonna go back into it just like this one right here. Uh, it's been two days. Um, been carving and then basically putting a couple of coats of white on on the diorama for Superman. And technically, I'm done. Technically, because the old school Superman uh, Fortress of Solitude is literally just solid white and foam, and they're using light to give it its natural shadows and colors so it very solid like this and then the actual light is what creates all the details cool now to be quite honest i'm not feeling it i'm gonna show you so here it is da, 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 da. um let me see so depending on the lighting conditions not calling my attention enough it feels I'm not liking how simple it is I'm not I was experimenting it's my baby yeah that's probably better there you go so this looks more like ice to me and I know that uh, this looks more this, this looks more like the look that I'm going for. Something, a hint of blue. So I'm, I think I'm going to go with this direction. See, so what I'm doing now is I'm adding that very simple hint. A very simple hint of blue. And I don't know why it's reflecting red in the camera. But... <clears throat> so what you guys are seeing here is basically what I did is... I got some blue paint and I really watered it down. This blue, you know, kind of like a black wash, but I'm doing basically a baby blue wash to fall into all the cracks. It's really adding the detail that I want, that I was looking for. It was looking very plain. So in certain areas, it's looking really good. Um, right here, Right here you can see it's giving that detail that I'm looking for. And it's not too overpowering. So I think I might go with this route. So yeah, this is now day three. Now I am done with the actual diorama, the painting, the sculpting. Now, the part that was having a difficult time is trying to recreate the the cylinders for the Fortress of Solitude. Originally, what I did was that I, <clears throat> I found this uh, vinyl, I don't want to call it, but it's like a rubber tube. But I was thinking I was able to bend it long enough where it could stay straight, and no, it's warped. I tried doing different methods by putting it into a stick and seeing if it catches shape, but it returns back to its original state. So, believe it or not, I kind of went around looking and I found this. This thing here is called a twirl time. And what it does is when you go like this, it makes it nice. 
whatever. I don't care for this. I care for the cylinder that's in it. This is a perfect size. And I was able to create this. So what I'm doing is I'm going to start placing them like this. I'm going to see if I can fix this up, clean it, before I start hot gluing it because this solved my issue. So I'm just going to put a, a whole bunch of these. Successfully, I'm able to cut these tubes with my hot exacto knife and then I'm placing these all around the edges so that with the hot glue gun I could start pacing them. It's looking good. I'm liking what I'm I'm liking the result so far. It fits perfectly fine up there. This guy right here. Arma. Right here. Right here. Came out pretty tight. And it fits perfectly well. I mean, my man cave is getting a little bit hectic with all these figurines. So, the fact that I made that work, I am so happy. Uh, it's about a queen that uh, basically they made all four four sides the same so you could uh, appreciate her beauty from all corners something like that okay. yeah the emperor of the time built it to show his love for his favorite wife oh his favorite actually, his, fa his favorite wife oh okay yeah it's actually a mausoleum he created it as a, a resting place for her yeah Be, are you gonna are you gonna do something like that for me uh i guess yeah if you want what you yeah baby baby because i <laughs> never built a taj mahal all right i, I want you to build me a taj mahal Oh, baby, you're so cute. If I do that, you can never bitch over again. No, but I want you to build me a real Taj Mahal. If you want me to build one, you better cannot bitch on me ever again. Okay, well, we'll see what you come up with. Yeah, okay, shut up. <laughs> I think it's cute. I think it's very romantic. Yeah, very romantic. Guess what? Women do what he says. Mm. 
whatever. Exactly. You can have you can have your cake and eat it too. If women were like if women were like that back like back in the days, who what man wouldn't do anything for a girl? You know? Yeah, well don't make me hang up on you. <laughs> 